Hey, this is Greg Cervani from Hot Sauce JS. I'm going to show you how to create a static web server in Express and Node.js. Let's get started. I'm going to make a directory called static, and I'm going to switch into there, and I'm going to initialize it with a package.json. What this does is give some information about the application. Um, also lets Heroku know that we are running a Node.js app. I'm just using the defaults here. You probably want to fill this out with uh, whatever you want in here. We can see what that just created for us there. And I'm going to install Express. And I'm using the save option here. And what that will do, well, that will update our package.json with Express as a dependency. So then Heroku will know to install, install that uh, NPM for us. And there we go, right there, Express listed. And let's go ahead and write the app. So I'm going to put it in a file called app.json, or app.js. Um, let's start by pulling in express, just with a require statement there. Let's initialize the app. There we go. And this whole app is going to rely on the static middleware. And what that does is it serves a uh, static resource from a specified file. So we do app.use express.static and this takes a directory, use underscore underscore dir name, and then we concatenate that with public. So what this is, this is the dir name where node was launched from and then appended uh, public. And we just add in app.listen, throw that on the 8000 port, and there's our, there's our server. So let's create a public directory, and in here, let's create an index.html. Welcome to my server. That's it. You'll put in images, uh, CSS, whatever you want in here. This is your website. And we can run this with node app.js. Server's running. Let's hit localhost 8000. Welcome to my server. Works as expected. Now, we need to make a couple of changes to get this ready to deploy on Heroku. The first is uh, we don't want to listen on port 8000. That's just locally, but when we're broadcasting on the web, we want 80. So we can grab this var port equals from our, uh, our, our environment variables, and we access those with process.env. Uh, Heroku sets this to port, or if that's not defined, just choose 8000, replace that here. And now our code is ready to go, but the other thing um, we need to do is uh, create a proc file. And what this is is a process file that tells Heroku how to run our application. Uh, we've been doing it with node app.js locally, and so that's just the same thing we use here. We say for our web server, do node app.js, and we're going to pipe that into our capital P proc file. And that gets deployed with our application and tells it tells it how to launch. Now, in order to get our code up to Heroku, we need to create a Git repository because we push our changes up to Heroku's Git server. So let's uh, initialize this directory. Uh, let's take a look at what it's going to commit. And we can see it's going to commit all these things. We want all this except the node modules. Our node modules are already listed in our package.json, so we don't need to include that in the repo. So let's. Uh, Let's ignore that. So we add node underscore modules to our git ignore and run a git status. And look at that, it's not there anymore. Go ahead and add everything. Commit it, my static server. And then our last step here is uh, simply to create the, create the Heroku application and deploy it there. So we do Heroku create and then we specify whatever whatever name we want. So let's call this uh, hot static and create that. And it goes off and it creates the application and then it sets a uh, remote for our git origin. So we just push up to it. Oh, looks like my internet cut out there. Let's try that again. There we go. And all we got to do now is push it up. So we get push Roku Master. This is what that just set up for us. Okay. 
And as it pushes up, you'll see everything that Heroku can read from your repository. See, it detects that it was a Node.js app from our package.json. It saw our, dependi appendices, um, our dependencies in our uh, manifest, and it's now installing everything that Express needs to run. And then when it gets done with this, it will launch the application and we'll be able to reach it in our browser. So there we see it's launching. We got our address right here. Everything is just the app name.herokuapp.com. Let's go ahead and hit it here. And welcome to my server. We've got a live static web server. And so now anytime we want to add anything to our web server, we just add it in our public directory and we commit it and we push it up and we can build out a full website just like that.